Hi everyone, this video is about circles. We're going to be looking at radius, diameter, pi, and how to calculate the area and circumference of any circle. Okay, before we begin, we need to start with some basics of the circle. So, can I please remind you of some important terms? The distance from the center of a circle to the edge is called the radius. And we normally use a little r to show that. The distance from one edge of the circle to the other edge going through the middle is called the diameter. And we normally use uh, a capital D to um, represent the diameter. And if you notice here, the diameter is two of the radiuses. It's double the radius. It's like one radius and another radius. So if we know the radius, we just double it to find out the diameter. Or if we're given the diameter, we can half it, and that will give us the radius. We also need to know the circumference. Now, the circumference is the distance all around the outside edge of the circle. It's a bit like the perimeter of a circle. It's got a special name, circumference. And we use a capital C for that. Now, you also need to know about... Uh, a very famous number in maths, probably the most famous number in all of maths, which is pi. And we use a Greek symbol there to represent pi. And it was actually a Welshman called William Jones who decided that we should use that particular letter to represent pi. So what is pi? Well, pi is the value that you get when you divide the circumference of any circle with the diameter of that circle. You will always get the same value, which is 3.14159265535 and it carries on forever. Now, I've only memorized that because I'm a bit of a maths geek. You don't need to remember it to that many places. It would be a good idea if you could remember that pi is roughly equal to 3.14. 3.14, let me make that a bit clearer. So pi is equal to 3.14. Now, if you've got a calculator, you can just use the calculator button um, when you're doing these calculations. But if, you're, if you haven't got a calculator, just use 3.14 and that value will be uh, good enough. Okay, now, to do uh, questions regarding circles, you need to remember two really important formula. And they are C equals pi times D. Now, really, there's a time sign here. But uh, because it's algebra, we squish the letters together and um, we, we just don't write the time sign, even though we know there's one there, really. So what does that mean? That means circumference is equal to pi times the diameter. Now, some people use circumference is equal to 2 pi r. Can you think why that's exactly the same as pi d? Well, all that's changed is that this d has changed to 2 r. Now, 2r is equal to d, because 2 times the radius is the diameter, like we talked about just up here. So you can use either one. I'm going to be using this one in the box, c equals pi d. But if you prefer the other one, you can use the other one. Now, the next important formula that you need to know is the area of a circle. The area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. Now again, I don't need this time sign. If I just squish the numbers together, or the letters together, it just makes it a little bit simpler. Pi equals, sorry, area equals pi r squared. Now it's really important that you remember these two formula, um, and that will let you work out the circumference and the area of any circle. Okay, let's see how that's going to work then. We'll do an example. 
say we had a circle with a radius of 6 centimeters. So uh, let's start with the circumference. So let's write the formula down. Circumference is pi d. So that's going to be pi times, now lots of people would put 6 here, but that's wrong, because the diameter is this whole distance here. So that's going to be two lots of the radius. It's going to be a 6 and another 6. So it's going to be 12. So with your calculator, you put uh, pi times 12, or 12 times pi. And if your calculator gives you the answer of 12 pi, you just press SD, and that will give you the number in decimal form. And I would suggest writing that all out. 37.699111 and I think we need to round this. We'll round it to one decimal place. So that's 37 point. Now this 9 here will make the 6 round up to a 7. So it's 37.7 centimetres. It's centimetres because we're just dealing with a length. It's the length around the outside edge of the circle. It'll be 37.7 centimetres. OK, uh, what about the area now? So... Um, let's move this up a little bit. Right. Area. That's going to be pi r squared. So it's going to be pi times... Now careful here, the radius is 6. So it's just going to be times 6 squared. And you can put that in your calculator straight away. And again, I would recommend writing down the full answer that your calculator shows. So I've got 113.09733355. And I would round that to one decimal place, 113.1 centimetres squared or square centimetres. So there we go. Those are my answers for circumference and area. OK, let's see if you can give this a go. So I'm going to get rid of that. Let me give you a circle and see if you've got the hang of this. So for this one, I'm going to give you this distance here as 16 centimetres. I'd like you to find the circumference and area, and you can pause the video here if you like. OK, let's see how we got on. So let's start with the circumference. Pi d, or 2 pi r, doesn't matter. Circumference equals pi times... Now, we can just use 16, because 16 is the diameter of this circle. And if you put that on your in your calculator, and then round it... Well, let's write it out first, actually. It's 50.26548246. So I'd round that to one decimal place, that would be 50.3 centimetres. And for the area, that's going to be pi r squared. So it's going to be pi times r squared. Now be careful here, r is just the centre to the edge. So that would be half of the diameter, so half of 16 is 8. So it's 8 squared. So this on your calculator would give you 201.0619298. And again, I'd round that to 201.1 centimeters squared. So I hope you got those two right. If you found these quite straightforward and want to challenge yourself, you can look at finding the area and the perimeter of shapes like this, a semicircle, or perhaps a quarter of a circle. Have a think how you would find the area and perimeter of those shapes. Okay, that's all from me today. Thank you, and goodbye.